marginal utility analysis now i've already told you that we are studying as to how a consumer spends his income on goods to get maximum utility or maximum satisfaction a consumer tries to maximize his utility level or maximize his satisfaction level within the reach of his income now to understand this in a better way we need to understand what the marginal utility is and marginal utility is the additional utility derived from consumption of additional unit of a commodity it is the additional utility or the additional satisfaction you derive from consuming one more unit of a commodity let's say you are consuming ice cream you derive some satisfaction level when the first unit you consume again when you consume the second unit you still derive some satisfaction level when you consume the third you again derive some amount of satisfaction this goes on continuing till you are done with having the ice cream so marginal utility is the utility derived from one more commodity let's say you had two units you had two units of ice creams that is you had two ice creams and the utility that you derived from it is 35 from the first you derived 20 and from the second you derived 15 now if you consume the third unit you are consuming the third unit and if you derive a utility of 10 from it we can say that the marginal utility is 10 for the third unit marginal utility for the first unit was 20 because you derived a satisfaction level of 20 in it marginal utility in the second was 15 because you derived only 15 from the second level of you derived a satisfaction level of 15 from the second unit of consumption and finally when you consume the third unit you derive a satisfaction level of 10 now tell me when you consume the fourth unit won't you derive satisfaction from it yes you would so marginal utility from the fourth commodity or the fourth unit of the commodity that is the ice cream would be 5 so marginal utility is extra utility derived from one extra unit of consumption so what is total utility total utility is nothing but the sum of all the utility derived in total consumption that is when you consume the first commodity you derive a satisfaction level of 20 so we can say the utility or the total utility derived from one unit of consumption is 20 when you consume the second ice cream you derive a utility of 15 from the second ice cream but in total now you have derived 35 a satisfaction level of 35 20 from the first and 15 from the second when you consume the third ice cream you derived a satisfaction level of 10 but what would be the total utility that you have derived till the end of third consumption it is 45 20 from the first consumption 15 from the second 10 from the third and we add all these three satisfaction levels we get a satisfaction level of 45 likewise when you consume the fourth commodity and you get a utility of 5 you you will simply add this to your earlier total utility so now your total utility would be 
45 plus 5 will become 50. So total utility is the sum of utility derived from all the units of commodity consumed. Total utility derived that is the sum of all the utility derived from consumption of all the units of the commodity. Now how do we calculate total utility? Total utility is nothing but summation of all marginal utilities. Here in this example we've done nothing but we've added all the individual marginal utilities to derive total utility. We've added all the marginal utilities to get the total utility. So total utility is summation mu that is sum of all marginal utilities. And how do we calculate marginal utility? Marginal utility can be calculated as total utility derived from the last consumption minus the total utility derived from the second last consumption that is TUN minus TUN minus 1. This would be assuming that you have consumed n units of the commodity ice cream in our case. So when you consume n ice creams the total utility derived from n ice creams minus the total utility derived from n minus 1 ice creams this would be marginal utility. So in our case if we consider only total utility from the first commodity we are deriving 20 from the second 35, third 45, fourth 50. Now if I want to calculate marginal utility from total utility only I can do it by minusing the second last utility derived from the last utility. Let's say I want to know what is the marginal utility when I consume the fourth unit mu at fourth unit mu at fourth unit will be 50 that is tu at fourth unit which is 50 minus tu at third unit of consumption which is 45 so mu at fourth unit of consumption is 5 which can be verified from the table so this is how marginal utility and total utility are related. Marginal utility can also be found out by this formula that is change in total utility divided by change in quantity. So again if I want to calculate marginal utility at the fourth unit of consumption for this I need to know two things. First the change in total utility second the change in quantity consumed now the change in total utility now the change in total utility here is 50 minus 45 50 minus 45 which equals 5 and change in quantity is 4 minus 3 that is 1 so 5 by 1 is 5 again we get the answer as 5 and this 5 can again be verified from the table so there are two formulas to calculate marginal utility first is mu at n equals to tu at n minus tu at n minus 1 again the second formula is change in total utility divided by change in quantity